Brad Walters with Monit. He's actually the chief executive officer and he knows sensors. This is his second business. Last one was a good win. Sold to Digium back in 2006, seven? 2006. 2006. And he's back at it again here in 2017. He's actually, in my opinion, owning the sensor sector. And we're going to talk a little bit about how a customer would actually use this solution, which I'm going to talk about first. And then Brad's going to dig into uh, a real world example of how folks can actually save money using this. So right now in the, in the let's say the, the uh, restaurant sector, let's, let's use like Subway as an example. So Subway has to go and deploy an internet connection and then a router and then maybe a firewall, maybe those are the same things. And then they have to deploy what's called a point of sale system. So a POS system that will actually connect up to the register and be able to do transactions and hopefully um, they're doing it in such a way that's effective. And some of these environments literally actually use access to the internet. So deploying a ClearOS system to manage the gateway, so firewall, router, intrusion detection, content filtering, all built into one as well as point of sale. Now you can actually take a USB drive, plug it into that system and be able to connect in multiple different sensors. Sensors that do everything from vibration to heat to humidity to 50 something other functions um, and you can connect up to about a hundred of those per 1,000 feet. So we're grateful for the opportunity to work with Monit. Brad is going to tell you specifically how companies are actually in that same world actually saving money. So Brad. Great. Appreciate being here. So uh, as Michael said we have about 57 different types of sensors. Um, these sensors are unique in that they're battery powered. Um, these small ones are powered by a coin cell battery that'll last a couple of years. These larger ones are, are powered by two AA batteries, batteries that'll last 10 years. And so it's a lot about deployment. Um, we have a customer, for example, who has over 100. It's a very fast uh, growing uh, restaurant chain. They have, currently have 100 plus, I think it's just about 105 locations now. They approached us right as they started to do their franchising model. And they said, look, you know, we've got a system. We're putting in these, these, these restaurants fast, but uh, one of our biggest concerns is spoilage. When, when a uh, refrigerator or freezer goes down, we can learn, lose up to twenty or $30,000 worth of, uh, of food, and, and that's detrimental. Um, and, and as I said, uh, they're fast growth, and so the fat franchisees maybe don't always know that they need to be monitoring that. Um, in addition, a restaurant needs to monitor their food to maintain it in a certain threshold because the FDD, FDA will come in and check um, or state health departments will come in and check and, and it's imperative that they have that documented. If they don't, they can be fined and they can be shut down. So it's a, in, the, in the whole health or the whole restaurant sector, it's a compliance based reality. They've got to document yep. temperatures and keep them on file. How long do they have to do that for? I believe it's uh, seven years uh, just wow. like other, other documentation. Um, so the way that these work uh, is, uh, as Michael said, we have 57 different types. These sensors are as easy to deploy as simply putting the batteries in. They'll take this, they'll, they'll take this little uh, uh, probe, this temperature probe, they'll mount this on the outside of the, of the freezer or the fridge, they'll put this inside. Um, when we ship, they have options as to whether or not these will be mounted um, with a double sticky tape. We have a, a fridge proof double sticky tape, which is the most popular. And then these can transmit wirelessly or do transmit up to a thousand feet through walls. Wow. And, and that's what makes the Mono proposition unique to anything else that out, that's out there. We have uh, competitors that use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or Zigbee. And I like to say that those are technologies that were developed for the IT world and they're awesome. I use Wi-Fi to stream videos or, or Bluetooth to stream audio. But that's a Mack truck delivering a little red wagon worth of data. Mm -hmm. and, and sensors are about little red wagons. It just does its job and does it well. And so in a typical environment, we were just looking at one of our customers online where they will deploy 8 to 12 sensors in the restaurant, um, literally by putting the batteries in them and placing them in the environment, going to their gateway, uh, uh, and the sensor data gets transferred there, and then there's a lot of control. But the end result is that if there is a breach of a certain threshold, the user can set up a hierarchy of notification, an email, a voice call, or a, a, a text message, which is most popular, to one or many people, and uh, with acknowledgments of who's received that. So if it goes to the first person, they don't acknowledge, it goes to the second. Yep, and so on. And, and, wow, so kind of like in the food spoilage sector, you're gonna save the inventory, 
you're going to save your machinery mm -hmm. if, if heat or other things are an issue, and you're complying, especially in the food handling world. Yep. Another real quick example, um, sensitive time, but um, we see some of, of these customers in the restaurant industry using a motion sensor. So mm -hmm. uh, globally, it's important to know that half the sensors sold are temperature, be, be them wired or wireless. But there are these niche opportunities that can drive a lot too. Um, we have a unique uh, motion sensor that uh, restaurants are putting in place to monitor foot traffic, to actually determine the height and the size and whether people are moving in or moving out of a retail environment. And so, correct me if I'm wrong, they would basically say this is the volume of people and this is the percentage of purchases to then measure results, how productive, are we, do we have the right foot traffic, are we in the right location? Do we have a, the right people at the right time? Okay. And your sensors do all that? Absolutely.